Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, Shai Maestro here. I got a request from a German Jazz Prize to talk uh, a little bit about music, to give some music advice here on the Jazz Memes page. Um, and yeah, you know, I'm not a huge fan of, of those like quick tips, you know, play this chord over this chord and use this scale and blah, blah, blah to become a killing musician in, in one minute. It's just, I'm more into the long process and I think it just takes time and, you know, sitting with a teacher or whatever. Um, and just exploring the music for for a long time. So I, I'll focus on like more general um, lessons that I've learned, or um, maybe could be helpful for you. So the first thing is um, I thought about talking is is is, is transcription. Um, I was just talking to a couple of students in in Texas about that, and I told them that I um, when I was sixteen or seventeen, I was in Tel Aviv and I transcribed those like three really killing uh, Herbie Hancock voicings uh, from the Plug Nickel. Um, you know those records, Miles Davis quintet, is fantastic music, obviously. And um, I think it was on F seven or something, and then and then I was all excited to go and play a gig, and then you know wait for F seven chords, and then uh, sure enough, an F seven chord a chord arrived, and I was like, okay, let me play my Herbie shit, and everyone's gonna flip. So I play those chords. And it sounded like shit. <laughs> it just didn't work. And I was like, wait a minute, like what, what happened? I, I, it, I know these are the right notes. So why, why, why don't I feel the same effect? Well, when you listen to a Herbie play, um, then you hear Ron Carter too. And you hear Tony Williams as well. And Ron chose this specific note behind those chords. And Tony chose this specific symbol with this specific subdivision and this time, you know, like all these things that that when you when I listen to the record, that's what I hear, you know. And so it's like a package deal. And so the moral of the story here is not against transcriptions. Transcriptions are, are cool uh, to learn language and whatever, but um, it's more about being present on the moment, like opening up. Op op open your ears to what's going on on stage. What is the bass player playing? Is he or, sh or she playing a D flat or is it a B flat or is it a G? If it's a G, what, what, where is it? Is it the, at the bottom of the bass or, or is it here or is it here? Th those are three different um, options to work with. Um, what is a drummer playing? What is being suggested to you? You know, what, wh where is it placed? Are, are we, are we, are we at the back of the beat? Are we in front of it? Where, you know, all these things that will make you choose the right option of what to play or what not to play like are you needed at that moment or or you're not you, like you, joe sanders you know joe, you, joe sanders is an amazing bass player if you don't know him check him out um but he's a master of laying out <laughs> as a bass player which is really out of the bass player's descript like job description but he knows sometimes he was he, you'll see him like about to play something and he'll be like well i'm not needed here at the moment or what's what what we need is a break from the bass frequency and then there'll be like a moment of like you know higher frequencies are being expressed on stage and then he'll play like the most beautiful note when he comes back in so this kind of stuff just like listen to what's going on around you work on your ear training to be able to distinguish to, to be able to identify the different notes coming from the bass um, and then also like when you're soloing, when it's your solo, try not to look at it as your solo. It sounds very strange, but like if you, if you direct all of your energy during your solo to making the other people on stage sound better, um, first of all, like ironically, you will sound better, but just the music will be will be better will be more honest and and the choices um, will be more honest and so everybody everybody wins so just just listen <laughs> i guess um yeah that's that's it um maybe yeah you know like maybe last advice and that's like a very personal thing you know but if you want to play this music and you have it in you um move to new york <laughs> I've uh, I've been there for like uh, ten years, and um, nothing compares to getting your ass whooped on a daily basis, musically speaking. Uh, going to Smalls and the Vanguard at the Jazz Gallery and wherever, and like listening to all these amazing musicians and being a part of a community, um, of in this ecosystem, um, and interacting with the cats like on stage and off stage, um, 
the, just nothing nothing compares to it i mean there are amazing scenes everywhere for sure but for me like new york was just the most amazing time of my life like musically speaking and um yeah just visit also that work anyway thanks and see you around peace